Greetings family. What's up everyone? I want to bring you a special episode from Lira City talking to the people who work in this city to hear how things go, how they find life, how they go about their work. Is Lira City a good city for business or is not? Let's meet these uh, hard-working gentlemen and talk to them. Enjoy the video. Yes, sir. What's your name? I'm called Namuyenga Elifaz. Okay, now, what brings you to Lira? I'm a transporter. Okay. I came to Lira bring some items okay. from Kampala. Ah, okay. Yes. Is it your first time in Lira? This is my first time to come to Lira. See, this is my first time too. And uh, like we've just been talking off camera that I had my own impression of Lira City. But when I came here, it's not what I thought it was. What about you? Of course. It is same to me. It is like yours. Because I came to Lila thinking that Lila has a different image. But as I have seen, Lila, it is a developed city. As you hear that it is a city. Because giving a, a town that name of city. Eh? They depend on, on some of things which it has. Are considered. You are you are right. Given city status. You are right. Right. So that is why I think it is different from the image we had when before we come to Lida. And yes, a lot of people could be like you or me. Then they have. A perception that uh, maybe Lira is a backward city or town, or it's just a small or just a tiny exactly, little, exactly. That's what I thought. Yeah. So, can you paint a picture of Lira <laughs> to those people who have that kind of mindset? Yes. Now, Lira is a very nice city. It has everything you may think of. We have. All the things we have in Kampala, they are free here in Lida. And uh, the things we buy expensively in Kampala, the same here in Lida. They are of the same price. When you, have to, when you want to eat chicken from here, you eat it on the same price as you eat it from Kampala. So, Lida, a development a developed city and it is well off they are well off mm. now mm. obviously as a transporter you know as a person in transportation i'm sure you travel to different cities and towns exactly All right. can you tell us some of the other cities that you have visited cities or towns now i was two year, two days back for at fort photo fort photo yes wow. I was from Kasese, but uh, according to, to those towns or cities, not city but towns, I compare them to Lida. There is no difference. They are all at the same line. Now. Mm. The other thing as well is that there is a lot of people who migrate from these different towns. Yes. When I was in Kampala, obviously, I know many, many people from Lango. Lira is in a, the greater Lango sub-region. Okay. Yes. In the northern part of the country now. I know people who have migrated from this city to Kampala thinking that 
perhaps there are better opportunities in Kampala. Now, from your assessment, do you think it's true? Do you think there are more opportunities in Kampala than there is here in uh, Lina? What I have realized, any person from anywhere he is, he can get rich. Here in Lira, things has a, has prices which resembles the same cities. So that's why let him go. Let her go that side. But for what? Now, uh -huh. I advise people, mostly youth, not, not to migrate, leaving their villages, cities, towns, going to Kampala because they think there is more opportunities than their, their mother, cities you can get rich from anywhere you are um, thank you so much brother you're welcome sir i'm gonna leave, i'm going to leave you to enjoy your your meal thank you i appreciate you so much you're welcome thank you too yeah i got these two brothers family they're on their job and their job is a washing bay. They wash motorcycles. So I would like to chat to them and hear how things are. Are things good or are things not so good? So let's talk to them. What's your name, brother? My name is Moses. All right, Moses. So, how are things going? I think it's going on and off, just like that. But the problem we have here, uh, the water is on and off. That's the problem we are getting in the, this uh, our working here. Okay. So, what is the source of the water that you use? The source of the water. For us, we is it a national grid, national water and sewage? Corporation, is it a, a well? Is it a spring? Where do you get the water? No, it is a national water. Okay. Yeah. So, does the National Water Corporation give you a reason why you experience these water cuts? Come again. Does the water company, oh. the company that supplies you with the water, mm. you did say that you will experience cuts, mm. the water is on and off. Mm. Now, does the company give you an explanation why that happens? No, they used to send the message that uh, the water is going to be on and off, or the water is going to be off for some, uh, some week. Uh, but if the water is off, just like that, for us we have to stay without work. It means uh. that the money is not going to be there. So. Is there no alternative source of water to enable you to continue with your work? Mm, for us, we go and uh, fetch water sometimes in the borehole. Okay. Uh, and how far is that borehole from your washing bay? That is too far. Too far. So this water, do you carry it on your head? Do you lift it? Do you bring it on a motorcycle? How do you bring this water? I used to, we used from... to carry it with our hand, just like this. Okay. Yeah. Now, to wash one motorcycle like this, oh. how many liters of water do you need? Uh, for us, we, like a one, 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 one motorcycle like this one, for us, we use uh, 20, 20, 20 liters of jerrycan like this, that, that one. Okay. Oh. And how far is the borehole from your washing bay? Uh, the, the borehole. About is, how many kilometers? One, two? Like, uh, like uh, let me say, like uh, 40 meters. Uh, not 40 meters, like one 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 kilometers like one kilometer yo okay now the water at the borehole 
Do you pay for it? Uh, we have to pay for it because this is town. You cannot uh, fetch uh, water to, 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 to somebody without paying the money. Okay. No. Now, on a good day, mm. all right, so let me, let me first ask this. Mm. How much do you charge to wash one motorcycle? For us, uh, we charge like uh, 3,000 for one motorcycle. Okay. Yes. And how many motorcycles can you wash on a good day? If the work is there, you can wash uh, like uh, seven, seven per day. Okay. Oh. Uh, what about on a bad day? Uh, on a bad day, you have to wash two or three. Uh. Mm. So, what would you say about your job? Is it, do you make enough money to support yourself? Enough money for support ourselves? Or, come again? Do you make enough money to, to be able to live a good life or a life that you wish to live? Yo, you have to go back with something. Because if you come here, you have to struggle that. I have to put some money down and I hate others. Do you have a family? Yeah, I have, a, I have one wife and one kids. Ah, okay. No. What's your wife's name? It's called Jennifer Kete. So send her some regards. Tell her you <laughs> love her so much. I can send. Yeah, I can send that Jennifer. I love you so, so much. I am still struggling on the way here just because of you and because of my family. All right. So yeah. thank you so much, brother. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, man. Mm. Many thanks. our goods and can be transferred to other other countries so they like from like people from kenya south sudan eh, congo rwanda this is like like our center okay. mm. now besides market all right because there is marketing in you know, many cities in uganda mm. why did you choose lira specifically i choose lira because Actually, Lira, Lira is doing better in produce. It's doing better, it's almost rhyming with Kampala. At the time with, like, with, with grain, 5 Lira, Kampala is eating Lira at the time with 10 shillings, 20 shillings. Now we see us, we see like transporting to Kampala, we just, with a different 10 shillings, it's better we bring it to this side. Okay. Now you talked about um, selling your produce. Yeah. Rise, is, we, are, we are now making a loss daily, every day. Times you go, you buy, like, at, like right now we are buying from farmers at 600. You ca like yesterday we bought at 600, we, ca we came back finding it has dropped again up to 66. So, are we talking about maize? Yes. You're buying a kilo? Yes, 600. Six, uh, 600. From the farmer, but here again now they are buying at 660 shillings. Why, why do you think the prices are dropping? 
we don't know maybe it, it, it is there is a lot there is low 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 demand and yet the goods they are high What can you tell people who have never visited Lida? Actually, Be, oh, hold on, hold on. Before you can answer that, how long have you been living and working in Lida? I'm, I'm now stayed for three years here. Three? Yes. Okay. So, what can you tell uh, the people who have never visited Lida? Lira, Lira is a good city. Yeah. Living in Lira is good. Oz, food, with food. The price is low. You can feed according, according to your pocket. What about housing? Housing, the rent is also there. It's not so expensive. Depends, is, depends on the on the quality you need. What is how much is rent? Rent start from fifty. From fifty. Yes. Without power, with power seventy. So how much would a, a moderate two bedroom house? A moderate two bedroom house is almost 250. Yes. Is there anything special about huh? this city? Uh, with me, with, with me, I, I see everything special within me, the city here. I see everything special. Because everyone is everyone is busy on his department. Yeah. So, say your last words. To my last watching. My last word is, Lira. I'm just inviting now everyone to come and join me. We chill in the city. The city is nice. It's also fairly to your pocket. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. For thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We start with your name. Okay, my name is Martin. CEM. Now, we present your, your city. Yes. Lira City. Okay. Now, this, my rest is very, very okay because at the time when I came here, I see it was very, very, it's very nice. That's why I said, let me come and see here. But I'm from Bali. My place is from Bali. And I said, me come up to Lira here. And I said, Lira is very, very okay, it's very nice. It's How very long nice. Did you move this city? At least I'm now one month. Just one month? One month. But I said, it's very fair, it's very good, it's very, very okay. What do you like about this city? Right now, you know, to work, I'm working, I'm a border border, but I have got something. Now, man, for the border border, even if I'm a rider for the border, it's not mine, okay? But the, the man I get, he can help my family and uh, my wife and uh, my boss. I give my boss and then I give the family. Also me, he can help me for eating and everything. <laughs> so, before you moved to your city, yes. what was your job in Mumbai? In Mumbai, my job it was uh, just uh, border border also, but uh, really work for a uh, farmer, farmer for uh, in the village. Okay. Yeah. Now, Nowadays, my friend of mine, the one told him, ah, what you do, don't stay here in Bali. You just, you walk and understand, and then you see what's going on. Now I come, I come up to here. Even it's the one who brought me up to here. When I reach here, I see, ah, everything is now okay. Even my life is now it changed. Okay. Yes. Do you have a family? I have a family. And where are they? It's at the home in Bali. Uh, yeah, I try to send something tomorrow when I get and then I send for uh, her. Send, 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 send a thank you to that friend who changed your life yeah. by bringing you to Lira. Uh, the what? You know, send, send a special thank you. Yeah. No who brought you from Bali to Lira. Uh, Someone who sent for me up to here? Yeah. Yes, I came with my friend. It's the one who brought yeah, me. What is his name is Juma. Okay. Yeah. Now, send him regards and thank him for bringing you to Lira. Yeah. And, you know, this, this move has changed your life. It's changed so, my life. Obviously, your friend yeah. has contributed to your life change. And the man would be okay to be good. How do you, uh, you compare 
Lila and Bali. Okay. Yeah. In terms of uh, you know social status or the social life in yeah. Bali and Lila. Uh, now uh, when I see the life in Mbale, even if you have something you can be rich, can help you for standing. You can help, but uh, when I see when I came here in Lira, I see this. Very, they are different. They are different here because uh, even if right now as I am here, this one is also the favorite. They, they didn't know me very well. But they, they helped me to say, ah, you take tigers from this place, you know that place as I know. And then uh, they show me the place where and then I take. When I take that customer, they give me some, some money and then they help, they help me, my family and my boss. So, business wise, yeah? Yes. Um, would you say that Lira is better for business? It's better. Compared to Mbali. Compared to Mbali. Okay. Yeah. And what about the people? The people. Are the people welcoming? Are the people nice? Yeah. Uh, the people, what I'm going to tell you, the people also is very nice because the time I came, they welcomed me very well. <laughs> yeah. Just the problem they didn't know me very well. You know, when the people they don't know, maybe they see maybe this man is oh it's what it's what. But when you sit with them like one week or two, they say, ah, that man is not what it's not bad. Let us sit with him and then you 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 do with him the work. You do the work and then you do what you don't do. Yeah. So which other city or town have you been to besides Bali and Lira? Uh, for me, since I born from my family, from home, this, this one the first is to come. Okay. Mm. Lira mm. is the first city you have lived in outside Dubai. Yeah, this one the first city Lira. Okay. Yeah, the first city. And so, what is the plan now? Your family is in Bali. Uh, one, one children, right? Okay. Now, what is the plan? Is, is, is the plan to go back or to bring them to join? Now, here? what I plan right now, uh, when I sit, I get something good. Right now, I'm still uh, sending for her, for my family. Let me sit after one week, I'm going to see. But I can be there. Oh, I can bring I can bring my but my family is big. I can't bring up to here. At least it's about to be at the home, and then I try to send something small, 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 small like that. So yeah. I'm sure they miss you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Send them a message. I, send your lovely wife a message and children. Okay. Now I said in my language. Oh. Well, it doesn't matter. Your language is fine. Okay. Got it. I send a message to my family. You my. I know it in your in your language. Okay. Here's a home, that's what I say. Ni Havana, ni Mai, ni Papa, Mwesi Zana, ni Mwemriena. Sema ati ni di ane elida nenga, di di vula isi ndoko kwa nga futa. Mwesi kwa mbula, yuma nye mwere ndi mbula mu. Sao yos, kuri atuela, kena di sepa kesa, bye bye.